Welcome to Mix Master Release. I am Yish, your Mix Master Releaser. No, not mix. I'm not a master at mixing. That's the whole point of this video is to learn a workflow for mixing. Been trying to get this thing down packed without any structure. And so now I'm taking an opportunity to document me attempting to have some structure to learn a workflow. Um, that's part of the philosophy of this. This particular video will be about the philosophy for a brief moment. And then we'll get into the preparation of a mix. Um, the two aspects of the preparation we'll be particularly dealing with is gain staging and mix balancing, I guess you can call it. The philosophy behind this is to learn a workflow that I can repeat over and over to get myself to at least a novice mixing engineer stage. I'm very good with the creative aspect of it, but the science part is what I'm trying to get down. And in doing that, um, I can better mix records that I'm working on and better mix records that other people uh, need mix. One of the things that I'm really looking at with this is that practice makes perfect, right? And we're going to practice this by one, mixing my entire album, two, mastering my entire album, and three, actually releasing the album. Now, we're going to use a number of tools. The main ones will be acoustical audio. As you know, I'm an acoustical audio guy. You know, that's that's the software that I like to use because it gives me the real world tone. But we're also going to use some things from isotopes so neutron 4 nectar 3 and ozone 9 advanced we're going to use those to do some of the grunt work when it comes to the processing um not necessarily using it for the how do you call it the um the ai balance i'm going to do that by hand you'll see that'll be shortly um and boy is it hot in here we're going to use that and there's a number of other tools that we'll be using as well maybe some wave stuff um, i know i will be using kelvin just got a hold of that that is an awesome saturation plugin if you have not seen that check out the video up here all right aside from that you know just really want to get into a good workflow and a good habit of the science part the art part that's art art is art right but there will be some art stuff here so once we get past the see we'll start with the gain staging then we'll do the mix balance then it'll be about color and that will where you'll see me start to use the acoustical audio plugins um, after the color that's when we'll get into the art part that's when we'll start processing stuff reverb eq all of that kind of stuff and at the end of the day man you know i just i, I have a love for this so being a composer being a producer being a singer songwriter mixing engineering where i'm doing it to a point that I'm satisfied and confident that I know I can do it is the main goal. It's also about actually releasing this long ass album that I've been working on since 2016. So with that being said, let's get to it. That's my philosophy. We're adjusting from here. All right. And we're going to look at the actual meters inside of the mixer screen so we will start with the kick drum all right that's fine all right, so now we're going to move on to the hi-hat. So we will unmute the hi-hat and start on that. All right, I think we're fine here. That's 11. All right, so we'll decibel off from the peak. That's fine. That works. Moving on. So now we will adjust our rim track and get that peaking. All right, that's good. 
I'm going to leave it right there. Moving on to the snare track. All right, this is at six, so I need to reduce this by four decibels. That's a nice, comfortable area. That's good. Moving on to the crash. So what are we looking at? Right now we are at, that is almost good. One decibel up, uh, should be good right there. I'll take it. The reverse crash. All right, reset. That's fine with me. Subtle toms. The subtle toms, I'm going to actually open up the full meter because this is a stereo track and it has information a little louder on one side. So I want the one side to be the leader. All right, we are getting what? We're getting 10.5. Now, as you can see, this is using the full weight of the meter. So I'm going to bring this down until it peaks at zero. There we go. And its actual peak is 15. All right. So it's still a peaky piece of information, but it has a lot of low end that is influencing the meter itself. Power toms. All right. So I need to bring it down about four decibels. So all right, on to the next one. Live shakers. Next section here is the high rolls. All right, so same thing. About four decibels down. And that works for me. The low rolls. All right, that works for me. The shaker roll. Oh, yeah, you need to come down the tambourine. Bring that down onto the bell tree. All right, so clear our peak. Oh, yes, yeah, too much. That works for me. All right, to cut, to cut. That's good. On to the next one, the Wodo. Woodblock. Next is Woodblock 2. Okay, that's solid. The Pan Tam. Nice and clean. Our timpani. All right, so bring our timpanis down. All right, that's fine. So that is our drums. Now we need to get to our actual instrument section. On to the bass track. Aha, all right, so bring it down. So let's just move it to that. Good. Our main instrument here, which is the acoustic guitar. Oh yeah, that needs to come down. And I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit from there. The roads, now this is, all right, so all of that's good. Here's a nice loud one. All right, what we got here? So I'm going to bring that down just a hair. All right, check that. That's fine. Moving on to the string section. Oh, yeah, all of this needs to come down. The string solo. All right, check that again. The horn. And that's entirely too loud. All right, so let me bring our horns down, friend. Looks good to be there. Flute. We 
Got a little bit of room there, but we're not peeking, right? That's healthy. As long as it don't light up, I'm not concerned about it. It's a steady state sound. All right, so moving on to our glockenspiel. Now, this is a fairly transient sound, so we want to make sure that we keep it below negative 10. That is right on the money. Last instrument, the Celeste. Because it's playing all of the same parts as the glockenspiel. So let me turn it down to kind of match what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. Now that that is done, I'm going to say this. The vocals were already gain staged. And I am not about to redo all of that over so i am going to i'm going to bring these down just to just a smidget all of the harmony parts are going to get a reduction by just a smidget so that if they're within a safe boundary here grab these and bring them down just a couple of decibels Ooh. and i'm not necessarily Ooh. looking for this to be dead on right Right now, I just want no these things worries, clean. Baby. I got good, healthy signal coming through everything. Ooh. I probably could use a little more, but I think I'll keep them there. All of our parts are pretty healthy. I don't think we have anything that is blaringly out of pocket. All right. And so we'll call this gain staged. This first track here, this is the kick track. Its controls is locked. It is our leader. We'll build the mix around the kick drum. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the tracks with the exception of the, of course, the kick track and bring them down to zero. I'll bring all my drums up in one swoop. All right. All right. I think I got a pretty healthy level in my headphones here. Let's get started. And right now I am doing this in mono. So I'm not worried about any stereo information, I'm just worried about straight up the middle. All right, so that's good for that section. I'm gonna move on to a more involved section. I'm gonna bring that down to this crash. These two. I want them chunky and in your face. Yes. All right. All right, that's fine. All right, let me find another section of drums. Get our tambourine and our shaker. Now that, that also needs to come up. Yes. All right, and this section here. there. Shake a roll comes up some. And I'll give you just a little bit more energy. These. Not too much. All right. Low rolls, 
bring him up a little bit more. And high rolls. Bring that up some. Give me some volume. see what else we need here. Now we got the tambourines, we got the wood blocks, pan tam. So. Is that what that was? Okay, that's that guy. Alright. Down, down here at the end. Yes, definitely need this section. I'll be looking on the mix bus here. We still at a good healthy negative 10. That's good. All right. And our RMS right now is at negative 25. So that's fine. All right. I'm going to bring up the bass now. And that's only in a few places. So we'll check the three places that the bass exists. There's one here that can pretty much be matched with the second one. All right, so let's bring that down. Like how that feels. Okay, then let's check the other one. Our main instrument. Now let's start at the top where the drums are. All right. I'm going to turn my headphones down. All right. I'm satisfied with that. Roads. All right. String section. I have to find a string section where there's some drums at. All right. Solo strings. Got a lot more play throughout the record, so I'm going to put it here. Bring my roads up some. Alright. Horn section. Right here. And our flute. And then finally for the instruments are Glock and Celeste, which play here at the end. Alright, let me turn it up some. I like how that feels. All right, let me take it out of mono here. Hey, real quick, just wanted to say, if you are enjoying what you're watching, hit that like button. If you like what you're watching, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified about any additional videos that I do, including the continuation of this series, as well as software reviews and things of that nature, then make sure you hit that bell. Let's get back to the video.
Now, I don't like how this is buried. The, I want to hear the lead in here, right? So... I think it's pretty decent. Let us go to the hook next. So I think that's decent for right now. All right, now we're on the verses. As you can see, it's really only the one track, so. Together, it ain't no loss for me. Never, and whatever it costs to be. Together, bring that down some. It ain't no loss for me. Never. Remove these clothes and soothe your soul and rub all the pain away. Okay. We could the harmony parts. Try these things we've never done before. The main harmony parts. For love and play. section here and whatever it costs and whatever it costs to be your lover it ain't no loss for me there's no other and whatever it costs to be your lover it ain't no loss for me there's no other Jump out at you. Not that much. <laughs> I'm 
go back to my drums. I'm gonna bring my snare up so whatever it costs to be your lover, it ain't no loss for me. There's no other. All right, so my low roll right here, that I got to feel that. Yes, I got to feel that. <laughs> A little bit more. I think that's fine. Let me see. I'm tempted to turn it up some more. I'm going to leave it right there. Let me check on this end section to see how it's gelling. No hurry for the rest of the day. There's no hurry. We've got hours to gain. No worry. Yep, just like I thought. Okay, so um who is that is that the that's the pantam yep okay so the pantam needs to come up i'm gonna turn him up it's a hole and i'm actually gonna turn my wood blocks up just a little bit and my wodo where's my wodo at yep that's actually who i'm listening to okay. no Tampany. No No All right, so let me check on my timpani. No hurry. We got hours to gain. No All right, so we've did a rough balance as far as the mix is concerned. I'm gonna compare it to the one that I had before that came out pretty decent. Wow, mixing in headphones is beautiful. I still need to check a real world reference in the studio. So I did that, I made an adjustment. I recognized I lost my bass. The vocals started getting a little buried. Some of my instruments were a little too low, so I made a few little tweaks. And now we're going to go out to the car and take a listen. All right. So that was episode one of Mix Master Release. I appreciate you watching. Hey, listen, a couple of things I want to say before I let you go. The first three records, maybe two, we're going to document here on YouTube. Right? We're going to go through this whole process. Hopefully the second time around, it will be much better than the first. But the remaining episodes will be on Patreon. Um, you will get a copy of the album once it's completed. Keep that in mind. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Share it as much as you can. If you learn something from this video, let me know in the comments, man. That keeps me going, right? Outside of that, I'll see you folks on the next episode. Stay tuned.